The initial template was pretty simple. Two easy days, intervals, aerobic conditioning with some strength work, day off, and then three or four days of loading, which included an, another interval session, an aerobic run of up to two hours, some strength work, an extra long run, and if I was still doing the fourth day, then I would back that up with another longest run and some strength training, then repeat. And I've kind of started that way. It didn't work. So if we look at the training started on the 28th of November, and if we look over the start, over the first time, we'll see that the training load is increasing along with a gradual improvement in fitness here. And everything felt like it was going pretty well until we hit this peak here. Now this was a run where I covered 25.9 kilometers in two hours 44, average pace of 6.21. But it was after this point, which was the 17th of December, looking back, things started to unravel a little bit. Work was a bit busier, did a couple of extra overtime shifts, and we we're leading into Christmas, known as the silly season for good reason. A few extra commitments, less time, but it does make training a little bit harder, and in particular, recovering from training, which was fine and something I kind of expected. And I give myself that week over Christmas, I deliberately marked it as an easier week in training, didn't want to really push it too hard and just enjoy it. But then the problem came afterwards. Now my wife had been sick, uh, seemed like a bad cold, very COVID related, but scoring negative on all the tests, but it hit her hard. And then a few days later, it hit me. So these yellow circles, they're marked as sick days. These are days I had to have off. I felt horrendous. No energy, tired, wanted to sleep all day. The snots, headache, just feeling like complete rubbish. It felt like a less severe version of when I had COVID back halfway through the year. Scored negative on all the tests and seemed to recover okay afterwards. So that's brought me to three weeks out from the race and I haven't done the training that I really wanted to. Now there's two reasons. Now I could say getting sick was bad luck, but part of it was actually my fault. And looking back at the training, I made some mistakes. And the biggest mistake is I pushed the pace of my longer runs by too much, just a little bit quick. So we're talking 10 to 15 beats per minute in heart rate. We're talking an extra 30 seconds per kilometer. So instead of running at six to 6.30 per kilometer, I was keeping the speeds at around 5.30 per K. And with that result has meant that I'm much more reliant on carbohydrate intake to keep the pace up. When I either run out of muscle glycogen, run out of carbohydrate, or my body's just not processing it well enough, the drop off isn't subtle. I've really, really dropped right off the pace. So I've got three weeks to go. I decided to test myself with a race simulation to see how I would go, how I'd be ready to run at the paces that I had been training at. Right, less than a minute before I start running again. So this session is kind of a race simulation for the Backyard Ultra. I'm doing repeats or efforts of 6.7K which is the equivalent to one circuit of the backyard. And then I'm giving myself 10 minutes walk and break. So that's two times 6.7K down. I actually think I'm running a bit faster than I should do on race day. Then it's okay. This is the point of training. It's finding those paces. I think the intensity is just up that little bit for more of the metabolic side. But for my legs, it kind of feels 
a little bit easier because it gives me that reactivity that uh, bounce back from the ground instead of just pushing through more with muscle strength anyway I've still got a few weeks to go and plenty of experimentation on the way to find what fits right for the effort and style of running that I'm going to do on each of those laps not as fit as I hoped that I would be by now but it's how it is so I've called this run a little bit short so instead of doing four times 6.7k I did three of them and got part way into the fourth and ended it now reason being is not as fit as I was hoping so I ran too fast for what I would be able to do during the backyard ultra which is okay that was the plan to see what effect that would have on me took more out of me than I wanted plus it's a hot day it's I don't know freaking hot degrees I've been really trying to see where that top end of calories that I can get in is and I was hitting a bit over 400 calories per hour and well tell you what if I'm running anymore that's coming back out I know I'm dehydrated as well so too fast not fit enough hot too many calories not enough water I need to come in with these final three weeks not take any stupid risks but instead train in a way that will allow me to make the most of the fitness that I do have so this will include more runs at what I think will be my realistic race pace down and around that first aerobic threshold which I kind of thought I was doing when I was doing my long runs earlier in the training block but it turns out I've been running faster than that. I need to back off the paces, test to see how that is, and hopefully that gets me right for race day where I can feel comfortable, I can keep going forever. If I was to give you a main takeaway from the lessons that I've learned over these last seven weeks, in the context that I've been training for endurance sports in over 20 years, it comes back to the same problems. Don't push the endurance or easy stuff too fast you can get away with it for a while but eventually it will catch up to you and that's what it did in this block